Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I got some funky energy going on around you. You would know what I'm talking about because this would have happened or this might be get ready to happen. It's, I'm really feeling like somebody's just negative, nasty, narcissistic ex. If this is not an ex, this is some nasty person. I don't like it. Y'all might want to cleanse y'all energy before and after this reading. I don't like it. But this person, it's, I feel it's like threat is threatened by you, intimidated by you. And it's because of how powerful you are. And I keep saying that, y'all. It is. You trigger people. It's kind of like when somebody feels weak and they see you looking so strong and powerful, they're like triggered to act. They're like triggered to like bother you or mess up your day because they're like, no, I need to knock you down to size. You can't be that powerful. You can't be more powerful than me. Well, the problem is you are, and they know you are because you're coming out as the King of Wands yet again. Come on, y'all. King of Wands, you are a leader, right? You're motivational, inspiring, you're courageous, yet you're still warm. You're actually a leader by virtue. I don't care who this person is. Place the person, place the energy where it resonates with whomever this person is. Friend, family, your ex, you know, your your boss, your coworker trying to be your boss. I don't care who this person is. Um, you know, when it comes to this person, they're intimidated by you because you're actually a leader by virtue. You know what I'm saying? And this can be in any interpersonal relationship. Your friend, you know what I'm saying? Your, your friend that's like, well, they can't be doing better than me in life. I have to like one up them. I have to like you know, show show them out. You know what I'm saying? This could be that ex. Y'all, people you, you be in relationships with, they be threatened by you because they're weak-minded people. They're lack-minded people. You know what I'm saying? They don't have something in their life, but you do. So they have to like, try to like bother you. You know what I'm saying? Whomever this two of cups in the inverse person is, this is who I'm talking about right here. This two of cups in the inverse is the energy is an untrustworthy friend. This also just re represents relationship breakdowns in general with whomever this person might be. You know what I'm saying? This also does encompass the energy of unrequited love. So possibly like an ex that didn't go nowhere. Maybe it was like a situation ship that didn't go nowhere for a reason. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, but the thing about it is, it's like somebody is threatened by your leadership. You know, if this is like a work situation, this could be somebody who has a title, but you are actually a leader by virtue. Come on y'all, this be happening all the time. When your boss sees you actually being a leader, yes, it triggers them <laughs> to go in this wheel of fortune in the inverse, right? This is them having bad luck, misfortune. This is also being very rigid in their views and resisting change. They don't want to change. They don't want to change with being the untrustworthy person that they are. That's why they're having relationship breakdowns. They need to stop being so rigid. This also does encompass the energy of feeling out of control. I feel like an agitated anger out of this person you would have picked up on it because you're coming out as the page of cups as well. Not only y'all, I'm telling you, y'all are coming out good, right? But somebody is bothered by that. So they're trying to do something or they would have already tried to do something to bother you because you're the page of cups. You are very sensitive, emotional. You pick up on energy shifts. You would have picked up on this exact same energy that I'm pulling right next to the wheel of fortune in the inverse. I feel a very agitated, angry energy with this person, right? this page of cups energy this is also you being intuitive and you have psychic abilities and you have an open heart y'all y'all are a leader by virtue and somebody knows that but they're like triggered by it it's, i feel i'm telling you angry frustrated agitated energy and you would have picked up on this if this already happened you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying you would have felt the two page of cups right you know and something would have come to you in a download about this person's intentions page of cups you have psychic abilities you would have gotten a download about this person's intentions how they're coming why they're coming you would have picked up on this right and because you would have picked up on it it would have been like ding 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 lover's card is out here you would have been triggered to make a choice right stand in your leadership authority or let this person bring you down to the sour pits that they live in. you know what i'm saying this lover's energy is the energy of having to make a choice, a life-changing decision about who you are versus who people want you to be or people or whoever somebody is, you know what I'm saying, as it relates to you. I feel like somebody's comparing themselves to you. It's like this internal like battle that they have with themselves. Like, no, they can't be a leader. So I have to like come to them with some, some mess, you know what I'm saying? To like knock them down the side. Somebody does not feel, they don't like feeling below you is what I'm getting in the energy, right? 
you know, but this lover's energy is, it required you to make that choice. Once you got a download, once you picked up on that person's energy, Page of Cups, that was your trigger to go ahead and be like, yeah, I have to make a decision about what's going on here in the situation. This was a choice being before you. And this came out the, the other day in the energy. I felt like somebody was going to try to exploit something, a, a weakness of yours. Here it is. Somebody was trying to exploit your open heart. Somebody was trying to exploit your your uh, your empathic and psychic abilities because they know you can pick up on this energy just like I am, right? You know what I'm saying? This ha this has to do with you deciding who to allow in your energy and who to disallow in your energy. And here go the devil in the inverse right here. Devil in the inverse is talking about your freedom from whoever this person is, right? This is getting your independence and releasing yourself from unhealthy relationships. Whoever this person is, I'm getting a very narcissistic energy from this person. This might be, uh, you know, uh, an, an ex of yours. You know what I'm saying? Who, you know, this could be, you know, that boss or their friend. Again, take the energy as it resonates, but whoever this person was, you know what I'm saying? They came to you with some mess, with some jacked up energy. This Wheel of Fortune, the inverse is coming heavy for this person. You would have picked up on it, right? But your higher fun energy has a lot to do with this as well. You know what I'm saying? This talks about groups, tradition, conformity. You know, um, this is also your spirituality in general. So you meaning you staying focused on your spiritual journey and like, it's like something about being steadfast and I've, I've got like a, like a, you planning yourself, right? Planning yourself in your spirituality and making sure you understand where you're going in your spiritual journey and not backsliding. Remember I was talking about this the other day, everybody black backslides, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has moments. Let's not say that everybody doesn't people do, you know what I'm saying? It just is. And it happens when people come to you with this jacked up energy, right? <laughs> people know what they're doing. You know, they see you doing great. They see you, you know, doing great without them and you don't want to be with them and you don't want to be around them for a actually good reason. And it triggers people. But at the same time, your lover's energy was like, I have to make a choice to stay rooted in my spiritual journey, stay rooted in my healing journey, right? And this would have triggered you to switch into your uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. Look at you. Y'all are doing this, this higher fun energy, right? Y'all know how to shift and move energy. I love that. Your queen of pentacles talks about being practical, responsible, very grounded. I am getting that grounded energy. And this is what I'm talking about. The higher fun to the queen of pentacles. I feel like you had to like root yourself, like really ground. Maybe you went out in energy. This queen of pentacles or went out in energy, went out in nature. This queen of pentacles does carry an energy of being nature loving. You know, this also talks about, um, being business savvy. So maybe you were doing something in business, doing something um, work uh, work related or something to do with pinnacle, something earth down, you know what I'm saying? Something to, to root you and ground you is what I'm getting in the energy. This would have come through very like, I need to ground. And this need to ground would have come as a direct result of this person's jacked up energy with the wheel of fortune in the inverse, right? Um, this, this is definitely making sure that you remember that spiritual journey. And whenever these moments come, when people come to you all funky like this, you focus on your healing journey, your spiritual journey. What you need to do is to ground, right? Being practical, responsible, go out in nature. I was saying yesterday, it was a time for healing. You know what I'm saying? And here we go right here. Six of swords. Didn't I tell y'all? I, y'all, I literally said it. I called it. I said it was a time for healing. And the most high came to me and said that message very specifically said it was a time for healing. Y'all, when I get these messages, I make sure to give them out to you. But this uh, six of swords energy does talks about healing transition, possibly some travel. Maybe you were traveling, who knows, but this does talks about using your sword energy, thought and thought energy, communication energy to overcome water emotions, right? Not getting caught up in the emotion of the situation. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe this person wanted to trigger your emotions because they knew you were a page of cups, right? So you're using your thoughts and your, your words and your communication in general to overcome any type of water emotional situation. Y'all are doing this thing right. Whoever came for you didn't understand how powerful you were. You're a leader by virtue, not by, you know, just something whimsical. You know what I'm saying? Because you know how to switch into the temperance energy. Y'all... If this person did not realize that you know how to control yourself, they got another thing coming. This all talks about you're in control, baby. All of it. Your temperance energy, finding balance, peace, and patience in the situation, tempering your emotions, dealing with releasing yourself from this untrustworthy person. This person came to you. This is intentional. This was intentional. This person came to you intentional. And this is why I'm saying this, because this three of cups and the inverse energy is here, right? Trying to treat you unfairly, get you ousted from a group. 
You know what I'm saying? With this jacked up wheel of fortune and the inverse energy, y'all, I'm telling you, I feel very agitated, angry energy behind this person. But it was all meant to give you the strength and the in inverse energy, making you weak, vulnerable, and make you being led to by your urges. This was all intentional, right? But the intent behind it, it didn't work because you counteracted all this. Look at all this counteracting, right? But I'm telling you, whoever this person was, that's what they meant to do. You know what I'm saying? Carrying this Knight of Swords and the Inverse Energy. Somebody came to you very bossy, whoever this untrustworthy, untrustworthy person was. Very bossy, very rude. It might have been something that they said to you very quick and you didn't expect it, right? Um, very cutting, very biting words. It's like they don't, they were out of control. So they didn't know how to act. They, they didn't care how they acted, right? It was just their way or the highway. Y'all, the energy that I'm getting behind this is very, it's its not good. You know what I'm saying? You know, and this is a confirmation of what I'm saying, that per, this person's energy carried the energy of the magician in the inverse. This talks about manipulation, trickery. You know what I'm saying? This might be somebody who's not confident to be around you, so they just kind of do things uh, when they react and they're out of control, wheel of fortune in the inverse, right? Um, you know, this talks about a uh, lack of resources. This is a lack mindset. This is exactly what I'm saying. Magician in the inverse is somebody who has a lack mindset, who feels inferior to you because you're a leader by virtue and they don't like that. They feel intimidated by that. They're like, no, I have to be the leader. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like start throwing like a temper tantrum, literally nine of swords in the inverse, a temper tantrum, right? I did get a download about this um, magician in the inverse. Don't take this if it doesn't resonate, but somebody out here is like a, a dark magician for real, y'all. And, you know, just take that only if it resonates. I feel like somebody uh, out there is a dark magician for real. But the thing about this is, is that the magician in the inverse is somebody who, you know, uses manipulation and trickery to get what they want. You know, they don't know how to go about things in a healthy way. So if this is like an ex. This is the manipulative ex. They don't know how to go about building relationships with love. They don't know, you know, how to understand you. They are dedicated to misunderstanding you. You know, this is a friend. This is not a friend who uh, seeks to understand you at all. They just want to get whatever they can get from you to manipulate you and to trick you out of your spot leader because you're the only leader in the room. Come on, collective. I know y'all hear me on this, right? I don't care who this person is. Place the energy wherever it resonates. But I'm telling y'all, I'm getting a really dark energy. I'm getting somebody um, like a narcissist, you know, does not care about you at all. Like at all. If you thought this person did, they don't. They really don't. You know what I'm saying, collective? And here's a confirmation. Seven of Pentacles in the inverse. This talks about this magician in the inverse using the Seven of Pentacles energy, you know, taking a step back, doing an assessment of the situation. How can I get all of my pinnacles out of the situation? This talks about being persistent, patient. Y'all, if a magician in the inverse it has to go into the seven of pentacles energy to be persistent and patient, we're talking about a master manipulator. We're talking about, uh, I'm getting sadist in, in my download. I'm talking about a, a narcissist who does not care at all. This is a rude and nasty person, y'all. Cleanse y'all energy after this reading because I don't like the energy that's coming out. You know who this person is. This is, um, you know, I'm sorry if this triggers somebody. If this is a, you know, an ex of yours, this is somebody who is definitely a narcissist who probably engaged in some abusive behavior. However, they did that. And I'm saying this person likes to abuse with words. Whoever this person is, communication. They like to use, uh, make you think a certain way about you, which is why that uh, three of cups in the inverse here to treat you unfairly to get you in the strength in the inverse. This person likes to manipulate you in your own emotions but they don't know that you've learned how to overcome that. Come on, collective. They on the, they on the old stuff. You on the new stuff. You need to let them know. You, you, you on the new. They're stuck trying to deal with the old version of you. You have evolved. They have not, which is why they have the Wheel of Fortune, the inverse, y'all. Whoever this person is, mm -mm. This person does carry the energy of the King of Pentacles in the inverse. Very dominant, heavy dominance energy. This is all about control. 100, this is all about control, collective. You know what I'm saying? So this person has a need to control. It's always the people that are that need to control that have no control over themselves. Wheel of Fortune in the inverse. Every time. The people that are, they don't control themselves. They have a need to control everybody else. If you're in control of yourself, you're fine. You're living your life. You're not obsessed with controlling somebody. And I do get an energy of obsession. King of Pentacles in the inverse. This is also talking about materialism. They feel like they need to have control, dominance. They need to own something. They need to be the one to do things, right? 
This is also a very uh, undisciplined energy. They just react, right? Because they have no self-discipline. They have no control, which is why they try to pull you in that energy with the strength of the inverse, y'all. I'm telling y'all, they just don't know who they're messing with, right? But the thing about it is this ten of, uh, ten of Wands and the inverse energy is here. They don't take responsibility for what they do. They avoid responsibility. They, I'm telling you, this is a narcissist, straight up and down. Um, and the thing about it is uh, you're, it's the motivation. And heavy on the motivation because it's two of swords energy is here. This is like being in a stalemate, denial. They have to make a choice. They don't want to. They're like, la, 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 la. I don't want to make a decision about you. You know what I'm saying? But here's the problem. The motivation has to do with this four swords energy. Your peace, patience, um, and your period of calm, meditation, taking a step away to pray. This person is at odds with your peace. That's pretty disturbing. Whoever this person is, is disturbed. They are not right in the head. They need to go get some professional help. But the thing about it is, it's like you are already at peace. So the person that sees you at peace, they're agitated by your peace. So they just want to come bring you some mess because you're at peace. You know what I'm saying? They're also at odds with the Ten of Swords and the Inverse Energy. Your healing, you know what I'm saying? Your recovery. The fact that you have moved on from this person bothers them. If this is this narcissistic abusive ex, they're bothered that you're over them. They're bothered that you, that you don't want them. They're bothered that you don't want anything to do with them. You don't care whatever they got going on. They can go their way and you have gone your other way. You know what I'm saying? This person is bothered with your peace and your healing. Didn't I tell y'all the uh, healing is needed? Here we go right here. Your healing and your peace is taking front center stage that triggers somebody. The only person that has a problem with your peace and your healing is the devil. Straight up, collective. I'm just saying. And this is a confirmation. This person is pretty is pretty sick. I almost cursed. This uh, Ace of Pentacles in the inverse. This is somebody who's not well mentally, not right in the head. You know, this also encompasses the energy of something that was a waste of time. This person did not plan well. You know, they had lack of vision about whatever this plan was. They did not realize you were actually dedicated to your peace. You were actually dedicated to your prayer and meditation. You were actually dedicated to healing. You were actually dedicated to recovering from this narcissistic abusive person. You are dedicated, Hierophant. You know what I'm saying? This is you confirming all of this energy. This person tried you at the wrong time. They tried the, they tried the new you. They didn't know the new you had new tools, okay? <laughs> you had new tools, you know what I'm saying? Because you're coming out as the King of Wands. Told you, y'all are a leader by virtue. Y'all are coming out heavy. King of Wands, Page of Cups escalated to the King of Cups. You are loving, you are supportive, you're a very nurturing person, and you are in control of your feelings. Take that, narcissist. This person can't get you off your seat of authority. That person was sent by the devil. Let mind you, collective, the only person that is, you know, tried to steal, kill, and destroy is the devil. The devil did not understand that you are in your seat of authority appointed by the Most High and you're coming out as the King of Pentacles. You're in control of your feelings. This person cannot bring you down to the depths that you were once before. They cannot. They tried. They tried it, but they failed, didn't they? <laughs> they failed. You know what I'm saying? King of Cups, you're also coming out as like a counselor, right? You're also someone who is actually able to help other people in this situation. You might've spoken about um, this situation if this has already happened already with whoever this narcissist is that tried you on purpose. You might've been speaking about this, you know, to somebody else, right? This counselor comes across like, mm -mm, this person couldn't have did such and such and such to me. I've got my emotions under control. They cannot get me in my feelings. Meanwhile, they're over there swimming in their feelings. They're out of control, baby. Wheel of fortune in the inverse, right? And here's what you're, you're doing. After you kind of really, you know, took a step away, you went into this full energy, stepping out on faith, you know what I'm saying? And this is like you being spontaneous. I really feel like a very spontaneous energy, like you needed to break away from this negative energy because it's like, you know what this person was on. You had to you get yourself, you know, on, you know, on your seat of authority, you know what I'm saying? And just like, no, nah, I'm moving away. This is, you know, stepping out on blind faith, moving away from this person. I feel like there was like a, um, like that grounded energy that a hierophant to the queen of pentacles, very grounded. There was a point in the situation where you just had to like plant yourself, right? This full energy is where you're deciding to do something. Stepping away from the negativity, stepping away from this narcissistic abusive ex, stepping away from this, this sadistic boss who just likes to see people, you know, in pain and, you know, suffering over whatever they're doing. Whoever this person is, you decided to step away from it. I feel like it was a very spontaneous energy, right? I just need to go away. I need to get away from this energy, right? To the three of wands, right? Getting your initial rewards and waiting for your ships to come in. 
I'm going to move away from this person. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to focus on my kids. I'm going to focus on my family. I'm going to focus on my job. I'm just going to do something else, period, and wait for my ships to come in so I can go to this Eight of Cups energy, abandon this person, place, or thing. You know what I'm saying? You might be waiting for something to move on, right? You're moving on and abandoning the situation and chasing your dreams. I, I do feel like something, um, you're waiting on something and this energy keeps coming up about waiting for something to happen, like a divorce decree, um, something about a mortgage, a new job. You're waiting for something. Taking a moment to step away from this person and just wait for your moving on to happen if you have not already moved on, collective. You know what I'm saying? Because you had the Seven of Cups in the inverse energy, and this came out the other day. Setting your intentions, finding focus, and making the right decision about whatever the situation was. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this person is, whether this is an ex, whether this is a friend, family member, or that boss, right? But I, all of this has to do with you finding focus and making the right choice to get your Six of Pentacles. Your, your balance. This is something being made right, something being made, made, being made fair, something being generous to you. And I feel like you're giving that energy back to yourself, you know, balancing things out for you, you know, being generous to you, somebody trying to take from you energetically, trying to take from you emotionally, making the right choice to be balanced with yourself, being generous and giving that back to yourself. And this is what I was saying the other day, you don't lack anything. If somebody is like, you know, feeling down about maybe you're not getting back what you give other people, you know, King of Cups, you know, uh, King of Wands, you know what I'm saying? You have out that energy in you. You can restore yourself. You can always replenish your own well by yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is this energy that I was saying, y'all. You giving yourself your own generosity and making things right for yourself. Once you make the, the decision to set your intention to move on from this person, place, or thing. All right, let's get an Archaeo card to see uh, what energies we're, we're dealing with here. A demon told you the only person that's at odds with your peace and your recovery and you're moving on from them is a demon you know but at the same time you know the only thing that you just need to do is to ignore them and they will flee just like the devil the demon is contrary and complex offering you a glimpse into the poison chalice without demanding that you drink if you keep him at arm's length and take his insights in homeopathic doses he will keep you protected from greed and envy but his greatest contribution to your cause is to make it possible for you to recognize those who wish you malice. In many ways, the demon is the hardest archaeo to acknowledge, yet he is necessary. Without him, we will be utterly gullible. On one hand, he is a slippery manipulator. On the other, he helps us recognize dishonesty and duplicity, both in ourselves and in others. If you keep him contained, his familiarity with animosity will serve you well. But if you allow him to convince you that indulgence is your birthright, you will quickly lose your way. With one foot in the dark and the other dancing in blinding light, the demon is both tormentor and realist and thus an unpredictable teacher or ally. Certainly you must hold him at arm's length, but do not try to banish him. You do not want to make him a dire enemy. When taking his counsel, it will be wise that you call upon the sage and the warrior for arbitration and protection. Remember, your fascinations, addictions, and repulsions are your weaknesses and he will try to play upon them even as he is warning you of an external threat. Yep. So the thing about this is, is that there was something that, you know, you picked up on Page of Cups, you picking up on that and the lover's card coming out here with you having to make a choice. This is you actually getting, you know, going to your Sage Council energy, King of Cups, and making the right decision about this demon, right? Let's get a Visions of Duality and we'll go ahead and wrap up. Card one, healing, told you this is all about your healing. You know, and the, the thing about this is that, you know, there there might be times where it might, you know, come and it might go. But at the same time, there are always things that you can learn about healing at different points in time. Healing is not a medicine. Healing is not the negotiation of pain or sickness. Healing is a process of growth and growth needs time. It is said that it is easier to hurt than to heal, but that is not exactly true. It's just a matter of how fast it can be. One can happen in a second and the other in ages, but which is the strongest or the most meaningful? Time is what connects and makes things whole. One moment is just something to be forgotten and left behind. Whatever healing was needed as when we were children, we healed throughout our life to adulthood and then to wisdom. And that healing wisdom will be able to cross generations and protect our children and their children, teaching them how to heal themselves. Exactly what I was saying, y'all. Advice, remember how healing is born out of a connection. It is an invisible seed, and as a seed needs water and care before it can fully blossom, so do you. Man, exactly what I just said. 
all this has to do with uh, your healing and this deal of being at odds with it, but it doesn't matter. You're able to heal yourself. You must be a healer collective. This is what I'm talking about. I love this for y'all. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.